Hey scholars, happy Marvelous Monday. It is time for another Core Knowledge Read Aloud. We are back on track after our pausing point yesterday. Um, so we are hearing today all about Lewis and Clark, some of the most famous explorer, explorers of the frontier. So let's go ahead and dive right in and talk about what we're gonna do today with this video and what you're doing at home. We're not gonna have our app ask because we had a review day on Friday. So we're just gonna go straight to scholar shout outs. Then we have our objective, our new vocabulary words, the read aloud, of course, the check our understanding and the packet work. There's a couple of changes in today's video and I'll address those as they come up, okay? Let's keep moving. So this first slide is just a number of scholars I've heard from. You sent me work or you called me on the phone, you popped into my office hours and I got to see your face, but these are scholars that I've just been able to hear from in each class. Some of you have your own phones and are texting me your own work or sending me your own answers and that's great. So this is just the number of scholars that I've heard from that I know are watching the videos, okay? The number of ISU scholars I've heard from is seven, including the two of you who popped in to the, the office hours. It was great to see your faces. And from Ashford, there are eight of you that I talked to last week or parents sent me a picture of work. You know, so there are seven in ISU and eight in Ashford that are really working to keep up on their schoolwork. And I know that because I'm hearing from you, all right? So if you're doing your work, that's awesome. Make sure you're emailing or texting pictures so that we, can, we the teachers can see it, okay? All right, this next one is the total number of grammar team points that your class got during from core knowledge videos last week. So whether you and your classmates were sending me pictures of work, texting me answers to videos, these are how you earned your Grow Our Team points from our core knowledge. You sent me a picture of work or you sent me a text with an answer. So this is just the total number of point, Grow Our Team points earned from core knowledge last week. Let's take a look. ISU, you guys earned 23 Grow Our Team points from Mrs. Coma last week, well done. And Ashford, you earned 44 Grow Our Team points from Ms. Coma last week. Good job, Ashford. Now it's Monday, it's the start of a new week. So the Grow Our Team counter has been reset. To zero. So at this time, there. Are, so the counters have been reset completely. Here's the shout out counter. So it's been completely reset. So no shout outs yet this week, no grower team points yet this week. Send me the pictures, send me the videos of answers so that way you earn those grower team points. Before I continue, we have a special visitor for our video today. This is my cat Venus. Say hi Venus. She is gonna probably hang out with me for a little while while we do our lesson today, okay guys? Mwah. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for the objective. Objective, objective, we learn all about it. I can use a map to make a prediction about Lewis and Clark's journey. Venus, can you use a map to make a prediction about Lewis and Clark's journey? Well, we'll see how our scholars do with it today, okay? All right, vo -vo vocabulary. The first word we need to know is brave. Actually, it's the only word we need to know today is brave. And brave means showing courage and not afraid to do something, even if it may be dangerous or frightening. So you're showing courage, you're not afraid to do something. The girl was very brave when she rode her bike for the first time without training wheels, all right? So if you've ever ridden a bike without training wheels, you know that first time is terrifying and you have to be super brave. All right, so where are we? We're familiar with this picture and some of the things on it, and I might be marking this map as I talk so you can see it, okay? So. At the very beginning of this domain, we heard all about Daniel Boone, how he was a very talented woodsman, and we heard how he built the Wilderness Road through the Appalachian Mountains. Real quick, I'm gonna take a pen and I'm gonna put a yellow line through the Appalachian Mountains right here. Yep, so he built the Wilderness Road through the Appalachian Mountains. More and more settlers went through that the Wilderness Road and they settled in what is now Kentucky which let's see that is right around here is where they started settling this is the valley where they started settling from there of course they started to spread they started to go all the way to the mississippi river 
Now, there were people living on the other side of those mountains. There were Native Americans, right? So we had all of those Native Americans, but as people started to settle on the other side of the Appalachian Mountains, where did they go? Did they just poof, vanish into thin air, or did they have to go somewhere? So we're going to talk a little bit more in the second part of this domain about where did those Native Americans go? What happened to them? We, we heard two read-alouds last week about Thomas Jefferson, good old TJ, third president of the United States, wrote the Declaration of Independence and how he wanted to buy the city of New Orleans. The city of New Orleans, you will recall, I'm going to put a, a purple circle underneath. It's right here, right? There's the city of New Orleans. Thomas Jefferson wanted to buy the city of New Orleans. It's important. It has ports. It's very important for us to control when we're shipping things back and forth. We also know, as stated earlier, that this country now is now the orange. It stretches from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to this blue line that is the Mississippi River. It stretches all the way there. So we know that this country has grown since Daniel Boone led those first pioneers through the Wilderness Road. We are now all the way to the Mississippi River. On this map, there's a second mountain range, the Rocky Mountains. Go ahead and point to those Rocky Mountains. I'm going to also put a little green star. So here are the Rocky Mountains. So we have all the orange belongs to the United States. Then we have all that green. Well, what is all that green? It's the Louisiana Territory, the Louisiana Purchase, currently or most recently owned by France. So, so far this unit. Daniel Boone, Wilderness Road, New Settlers, expanding. We go to the Mississippi River. We want to buy New Orleans. Thomas Jefferson sends James Monroe to talk to Emperor Napoleon. Ultimately, Napoleon doesn't just sell us the city of New Orleans. He needs more cash. So he sells us the entire Louisiana Territory. And we have the Louisiana Purchase, which is that all of that land in green. So our country has literally doubled in size. We have all of this brand new land. But what do we do with it? What do we do with all this brand new land? Do we just let people go and say, yep, go on, just build homes, find whatevs, it's fine, you know. Like, do we let them go unsupervised into this new land? Or should we maybe find out what this land looks like? What sorts of things live there? What plants and animals can we expect to encounter? What are the Native Americans like who've moved into this area? So Thomas Jefferson, President Jefferson knows that he has all this brand new land and he can't just open it up to the masses. So now, of course, it's time to meet some new explorers. It's time to meet some new explorers, like I said, some of the most famous explorers in the history of America, to find out what exactly this land is like. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna win the GLP? My back is straight, legs crisscross, hands in star and you'll go far. I want you to listen closely to hear about these two men, who they are, and what they hope to accomplish. We learned last time about the Louisiana Purchase when the United States government purchased the Louisiana Territory from France. Once the purchase was complete, President Thomas Jefferson wanted to send explorers to make maps of this new land and learn more about it. He doesn't want to just send people in unsupervised. He wants to make sure they'll be safe. Thinking about the Louisiana Territory, Jefferson wondered, is it possible? There are tigers or elephants living out there in those unexplored western lands? No one had explored enough to really know. Perhaps there are plants whose leaves could be used as medicine to help sick people, or which would be delicious to eat. My Native American friends who live there have brought me a few plants to study, but I am sure there must be more plants and animals which even they have not seen. Jefferson prepared to send explorers into Louisiana territory. I need the leader of these explorers to be someone I can trust. Someone very brave and very, very smart. So he needs someone who shows courage and isn't afraid to do something, even if it's dangerous or frightening. President Jefferson suddenly smiled. Why, I know just the person for the job. He sat down and wrote a letter to his former assistant or helper, a man named Meriwether Lewis. Jefferson asked Meriwether Lewis, if he would lead the team of explorers. So he asked whether Meriwether Lewis would lead the team of explorers. Jefferson had three reasons for wanting to explore the Louisiana territory. Jefferson wrote to Lewis, 
First, I want you to find out if there is an all water route to the Pacific Ocean. Travel the Missouri River, which branches out west from the Mississippi River. The two big rivers meet at St. Louis. You could start the trip along the Missouri from there. Perhaps the Missouri River flows all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Or if it does not, maybe it connects to other rivers that do reach the Pacific Ocean. You can find out for us. Second, you can collect samples of plants and animals so that we will know what grows well in the lands we've just added to our nation. Third, you must also become friends with the Native Americans you meet. You will want to bring along presents for them so they will know you come to offer peace. All right, so three tasks they have to accomplish here. When Meriwether Lewis received the president's letter, he was so excited. However, he was a very thoughtful man. He wrote back, I am very honored that you have asked me to do this, Mr. President, and I will do my very best for you and our nation. With your permission, however, I will ask a friend of mine, William Clark, to help me with these tasks. This is William Clark in the picture. Meriwether continued his letter, his letter to President Jefferson. William Clark and I became great friends when we served together in the Army. He and I work well together. Clark is very good at drawing maps, identifying plants and animals, and he has a lot of experience with Native Americans. I would feel much more certain that we could do the things you ask if William Clark could accompany me as co-captain. Lewis wanted to share responsibility with Clark. He wanted to share this responsibility. President Jefferson agreed. As Lewis and Clark prepared to start on their journey, they did not know that the dangers and wonders they were about to face together would make their friendship even stronger. So Thomas Jefferson at, needs someone to explore the Louisiana Territory. Meriwether Lewis and William Clark will undertake, undertake this journey and try to accomplish three key tasks. And we'll go over those tasks tomorrow. And that's it for the read aloud. That's it guys, it was really short today. So now it's time to check my understanding. Why did Thomas Jefferson want someone to explore the Louisiana territory? Why did he want someone to explore it? 10 seconds to answer at home, go. Your next question, Who's going to explore this territory? Who's going to explore it? Who's going to, who's going to look into this territory? What three tasks does Jefferson want them to accomplish? What three tasks does he want them to accomplish? Why are they important? So what are the three tasks and why are they important? Now you'll notice I don't have anything that I want you to text me today. Today is Monday, so starting today, you will have work due on Monday and Friday. Monday and Friday, that's it. I'm not gonna be asking you to send me pictures of work every day. If you can, it's an extra girl team point. If you can't, don't worry about it. So in your packet pages, you have this star on the page. If there's a star on the page, as you know, that means you need to send it. I want you to focus today. The only correspondence I want from anyone today is a picture of their work. So we talked about the Mississippi Missouri River. So I want you to trace the route that you think Lewis and Clark are gonna take. We know, we know what's recommended following the Missouri River. I want you to make a prediction about if they'll take that route and why do you think they'll take the route they take, okay? So that's the question at the bottom. This is the page I need a picture of. I need to see your thoughts and predictions and I need to see your route drawn out, drawn out on this map, okay? And that's it for today, guys. That's our lesson for today. Special thanks to Venus for popping in and making the video extra cute. Say bye to my scholars, Venus. I hope you guys let me know if you have any questions. Finish your packet pages. Make sure, make sure, make sure you send me a picture of your completed map. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Office hours will be on Wednesday. I can't wait to see you all then. 
Stay home, stay safe, and I miss you. Bye. Bye, guys.